Good Times was a show about an Ev the Evans family who lived in Chicago. Uh, I believe that the projects that they lived in was a project modeled after Cabrini Green projects, which is a very, very rough um, project in Chicago. Um, I've never been, I've never, you know, I'd never been there. Um, and, uh, you know, them just trying to make the best of it, you know, them trying to make the best of their lives and live through those circumstances. Um, everyone, I guess, remembers J.J. Dynamite, you know, remember that, you know, the uh, working at the chicken place with the bobblehead chicken on it. So, you know, you know ask, ask your parents. <laughs> John Amos had left. Um, so it was the year that Esther, you know, the character Florida, um, was raising the kids on her own. I think there might have been a year to go. Um, I came, I think there might have been about the middle of the season before the last season. Um, the, I, re, I do recall the cast wasn't happy. I mean, it wasn't, and I could sense that immediately when I walked in, you know, that there wasn't a lot of joy in Mudville here. And later on, I had found out that there was kind of a disconnect. Um, a lot of the older members of the cast, you know, wanted the show to make a statement, you know, and, and a social statement, whereas the younger ones wanted the show to be funny. Um, apparently for a while it seemed like the adults were winning and there were a lot of quote issue shows you know i c sort of came along and i was the guy knowing nothing about this by the way you know and i was the guy that said okay now we can now let's do some let, let's let, let's let's laugh let's have a good time so um i was immediately you know you know sort of brought in <laughs> the younger camp and uh you know, I was, and yeah, things from there went all right. I, you know, I suppose I, it was unfortunate that there was always this sense of unease because you know people wanted sort of different things going on with the show. But I always thought that you know humor first. You know, I was always a humor first guy, even though I knew I was on you know, a Norman Lear type of show and Norman liked to deal with issues and all of that back then, little morality plays. And I knew, you know, for me to stay there, you know, I would have to do that. But, you know, anywhere, any way I could, you know, I would try to, you know, inject some form of humor in the show. And the first year I got there, I might have written, and there weren't many left, uh, two or three episodes. The year that uh, I came back, their final year, you know, I wrote you know, seven or eight of the 24 or 26 episodes that they did. Um, so yeah, I was, I, you know, I, I was the workhorse. I enjoyed it because, um, like I said, all of my humor, you know, really came through characterization, characterization, that's what I liked. And uh, that second year I began to learn more about story structure as it related to television. Um, you know, having to accomplish this, 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 and this all in a period of like, 24 minutes and do it consistently. So, you know, it was a little bit like factory work, but that was the year that I probably learned the most.